Gude, my dear TTS enthusiasts, did you ever encounter the problem that your TTS, so text-to-speech output, sounded a little bit like a drunk robot trying to read a license plate? If yes, the following example might sound familiar. So let's listen what will happen when I put this pretty useless sentence into my TTS system. Doctor. Smith paid 234 for two items at 3 p.m. after waiting outside at 72 degrees F on May 15, 2024. While waiting for the train to arrive at 5045, he called a support hotline at 1-800-555-0123. Did you hear this awkward pause and weird pronunciation? And in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you how you can increase the quality of your TTS output by doing text normalization or cleaning. And the great part is, regardless if you're using the latest AI TTS models or good old eSpeak and Umbrella robotic voices, this issue affect everyone in the TTS community. Before showing you the result of this TTS optimization tutorial, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to not miss upcoming videos. And please let me know in the comment box what you think on this topic. And now let's listen to the result that will be achieved by the end of this tutorial. Dr. Smith paid $1,234 for two items at 3 p.m. after waiting outside at 72 degrees Fahrenheit on May 15, 2024. While waiting for the train to arrive at 1545, he called a support hotline at 1-800-555-0123. Isn't that way better? If you didn't catch all the differences, feel free to rewind and listen again, especially on how the numbers and abbreviations are handled differently. I will put all the code samples that we will develop in this tutorial on my Torsten Voice website, which is thanks to some really nice comments on my YouTube community, not pronounced moise, such as the fancy German English speaker <laughs> tries to pronounce it, but it is called Torsten voice. So just voice, not moise. <laughs> so thanks you all for the comments and I try to keep an eye on that. And here is what we'll cover in this step-by-step -step tutorial. First, why are dr. Dot and mr. Dot so doctor and Mr. or MRS for Mrs. Uh, are probably your TTS engine's worst enemies. Then taking a look on possible solutions, which will be, by the way, language dependent. And finally, we'll use NVIDIA's NEMO framework to do the actual text cleaning and improve the quality of your AI voice. And now let's go. Let's try to understand what the problem is. Why do TTS systems struggle with short forms like dr. Dot or mrs for doctor or missus, uh, not to mention years, numbers, money values and so on? Normally TTS solutions, they have learned or have been developed this way that a dot marks the end of a sentence. And this will cause them to make a break at this point and adjust pitch and volume as we would do by the end of a sentence. <laughs> but in these cases, Mr, Mrs, Doctor and so on is not the end of a sentence. The same applies to other common cases as marked in a red color here. Short forms, money, time formats, longer time formats, form, phone numbers, uh, temperature values, regardless if it's degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius, we would like to be pronounced as 72 degrees Fahrenheit and not as 72 degrees F, <laughs> so obviously. So we have to clean this text before passing it into the TTS process. And this is the text it looks when we have done the text cleaning or normalization. So no short form here. The money is also in the long form. We have uh, the time in the long form. So I guess you get the point. So this doesn't really look pretty, honestly, but it's much better input for TTS than the original phrase. And that's why this works with every TTS solution or any AI-based voice models. We are 
not touching the actual TTS model, but we are changing and optimizing the text that will be passed inside of your TTS implementation. But how can this be achieved? So from the original version to the cleaned version. Um, if you are entering your TTS text manually, you can obviously clean the text yourself while you are typing. However, I guess that most TTS operations are automated backend processes where you can't really control the text input that comes into your system. And for those cases, you need to add an automated text cleaning or normalization task in your voice pipeline before doing the actual TTS audio generation. And for that, you have a few options available. But how do we do this text normalization and cleaning? So remove the short forms or replace the short forms with long forms, replace the numbers with their written form and so on. So if you would like to do this in an automated backend process, probably you would like to have a script, Python script or a command prompt, whatever, uh, to handle this in the background automatically. And uh, I will show you a few options, but finally we'll use NVIDIA's Nemo framework to deal with that. So uh, let's start with a really popular Python uh, uh, solution that is called uh, num2words <laughs> and probably you get what it does by the actual name. So you can easily install it running the pip installer num2words and this job is to uh, convert numbers in their written integer form as 42 in their long form 42. I will put all the links obviously in the description box and here are some more examples such as running num2 words with that integer value in the long form and uh, as you can see here by the uh, language parameter uh, it also supports other languages than English so Spanish in this case and uh, has some uh, more options such as uh, to currency, for example. Uh, if you'd like to see which languages are supported, that's possible. Let's scroll a little bit more down. And you can see here this uh, lang section in the documentation. So English and lots of other languages can be handled by this num to words project. Additionally, you can take a look to Hugging Face because they offer two some options to do text normalization and cleaning. Again, I will put the links to normalization here in the description box. So please let me know in the comments if you would like me to make a video on these uh, possibilities uh, or at least take yourself a look and find your a solution that works best for your use case. For the German people out there, there's this repository by Repodiac called German Transliterate, uh, which does a pretty good job on German language. But again, you'll find probably your best solution. Just search for uh, normalizers, text cleaning, and I guess you'll find a suitable solution. Finally, let's take a look to NVIDIA's Nemo framework. Uh, the link to the official documentation and their GitHub repository will be in the description. So as you can see here on the official documentation, they are working on a Nemo version 2, which might have some API changes. So depending on whether you uh, watch this video, you might have to take a closer look to the current state of development. So uh, as you can see in some of these examples, uh, one, two, three as an example is cleaned or normalized to 123. And uh, this works for some languages, at least uh, even reverse. So if you put in 123, the result obviously will the, the integer number be. Um, at the end of the page, uh, you can see which languages are supported. You can see here, it's not just English language, but Spanish, French, German, Arabic. Russian, Swedish, and so on. Obviously, there is a GitHub repository uh, available for the project. Um, so please uh, feel free to give this uh, repository a closer look. Uh, just one short information uh, here, apart from installation, uh, documentation, and so on. 
uh, please take a look to this note. This should work on any Linux operating system. Uh, pip installation on Mac and Windows are not supported due to uh, any uh, dependency of pi n i n i, so of this package. So uh, you might have to play a little bit around and do some research if you would like to run it on other operating systems than um, Linux. To make it easier to follow, I created a Jupyter Notebook on Google Colab, which I will obviously link and share in the description. So hopefully this should be easy to follow. Please let me know in the comments if this is help and useful. This is my text cleaning Jupyter Notebook on Google Colab. And I'd say let's go from one step to another to see and show what you can do with this text cleaning and how it might work for you in your personal text-to-speech audio processing pipeline. So first step, we will install the package of NVIDIA's Nemo text processing. Let's run this step. Let's see using pip list if the package is installed. That's the case by now in version 1.1.0. And here we have a really simple Python scriptlet, just importing the text normalization from NVIDIA's Nemo project, creating a function normalize text, where you put in obviously the text to be cleaned or normalized, and one of the language codes that are supported by NVIDIA Nemo. And this will return the normalized text. So let's run it with this command. So print normalized text. And we have our text sentence we have seen and heard at the beginning of this video. Dr. Smith paid and so on. So let's run this little code snippet. Script is finished. So uh, apart from some uh, debug or info print messages, we have the phrase in the normalized and clean form. So now Dr. Smith paid 1,100 blah dollars for two items and so on. So this is one way you can use NVIDIA Nemo in a Python script to do text normalization. But there's another way you can simply run or clone the GitHub repository. Let's do this. Okay, so I've done this earlier, so the, the directory is already existing. So this is this repository here. Let's change directory inside. And you can simply run this normalize py script that is part of the repository inside of this folder. We have this normalize.py script. Uh, with the uh, affected language code. And again, uh, you can see that this uh, parameter or this command line argument of 1, 2, 3 has been cleaned or normalized to 123. Let's see another possibility. Uh, I've mentioned this, this <laughs> I've mentioned this num2 words Python package. Uh, let's give this one a try. Simply install the package and this Python scriptlet or snippet just uh, importing num2 word package and will use the integer 46 and print out the long version or the written form 46. So that's another option working in multiple languages as shown before. Next, let's install Piper TTS on this notebook to do the actual TTS uh, generation. Download Piper. Finished. Let's unzip. Finished. Now let's download the model. So I'm using a US English based uh, model here in the high quality. So let's Download model and configuration JSON. This is inside of the Piper directory. Here are the two files, model and config. And now we can run an echo command. That's normal Piper usage. So this is a Piper TTS test. And pipe this text 
to the Piper process <laughs> with the um, US English based model and save the result as out. WAV file in the uh, Piper directory. So let's remove my last test first. So and let's run Piper. Command is finished, and as you can see, we have this out.wave file. Let's simply download the file and uh, listen to it. This is a Piper TTS test. Next step is to bring it all together. So echo a text, our reference phrase, for example, then pipe this output or this text to our Python script using NVIDIA's Nemo text cleaning functionality and pipe this cleaned or normalized text output to a Piper process to synthesize the cleaned audio. For that, let's download a small Python script here. That's cleaner.py. Let's see the content. And as you can see, it's mainly the identical script I've shown you uh, from above. But in addition, I'm reading from standard input. So to echo this uh, test phrase and pipe it to this Python script, uh, I'm reading from standard input, doing the normalize text magic and write this to standard out so it can be processed by the calling Piper process. And now it is time. So we can end the video as it started with our lovely <laughs> and useless reference phrase. So I will echo the not normalized, the not cleaned text here. We'll pipe this output in our Python or in the Python command in the script I've shown you above. And the output of this cleaned text will be piped as input. <laughs> hey, come on. Uh, as input to the Piper TTS uh, process with that English US model and the result will be saved as cleaned pipeline.wave. So, and finally, let's run this step. So as you can see, the process is finished and we have this cleaned pipeline.wave file with the result we've heard uh, from the from the beginning. <laughs> so um, I hope you like this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you have a nice rest of the day. And if you like, we might see us next time. Bye.